YouTube, Gallagher123123 here, with a clock that I actually reviewed for you all back in February. This is the four alarm talking alarm clock. And in the last video I did on this, I covered nearly everything, except for some reason, and I'm not sure why, I completely forgot to cover the stopwatch. And again, I'm not sure why that happened. So I've been meaning to come back and do another video just to give a brief demo of the stopwatch and show how that works. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with another brief tour of this clock for those who have not seen the previous video. But if you haven't seen that video and want to learn more about this clock, I highly recommend taking a look at that video. All right, let's get into the tour of this. So on the top, you'll feel a long bar, like a long button. And if you press that button, it is 10.29 a.m. It causes the clock to speak the time, of course. Then above that, we have four controls. We have a master switch for turning the alarm on and off. Then we have the date button, although I think it says set on it, which actually makes sense. That's how you move through various settings. But it also gives you the date, so if I press it once. Today is the 17th. Or press it again. It is 10.30 a.m. It switches us back to the time. Then to the right of the set slash date key, we have, it says up on it, but I believe this is also the hourly report key. Hourly report off. Hourly report on. And finally, to the right of that key, we do have the mode key which cycles you between a stopwatch and setting the four alarms. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stopwatch. I'm going to press the mode key once. Stopwatch. And she did say a stopwatch. And to start the stopwatch, you want to press the up key or the button right to the left of the mode key. So let's go ahead and press it. And you'll hear it start to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So for the first 10 seconds, it will speak every second. 20. And now every 10 seconds, it's going to speak the number of seconds. So where that was 20 seconds. 30 seconds. 40. 40 seconds. Let it run for a little while longer. 50. 1 minute. And there we go. There's 1 minute. And now it will announce every minute up to a certain amount of time. I think it does start to get less frequent as the time continues, although I'm not 100% sure on that. Now, if we press the top button to make it speak, 1 minute 20 seconds. We can see how much time has elapsed. Seconds. And it will keep updating it for us. One minute, 34 seconds. So that is how that works. And we're getting close to two minutes. I'll stop it, or I'll pause it, when we get to two minutes. So let's see where are we now. One minute, 50 seconds. Okay, we're almost there. Two minutes. Okay, there we go. There's two minutes. Now, if we press the, I'm just going to call it the hourly report button. That's what I, it's what it's commonly used for. If we just press it once, 
That pauses the stopwatch, and we can still hear how much time we let it run for. Two minutes, 13 seconds. So two minutes, 13 seconds. I pressed the talk key to make that repeat. Now, if I press the same hourly report button again, it is running. Two minutes, 15 seconds. Two minutes, 20 seconds. And now we can press it again to stop, pause it. So when it's paused, it does one beep. And when it resumes, it's two beeps. Two minutes, 31 seconds. So I'm going to stop it now. And when you're done, you can clear it by pressing the date slash set button. I'm gonna call it the date button. And when we press it, all clear. She confirms all clear. Now, if we press talk here, it does not say zero seconds for some reason. It just beeps. So that's kind of interesting. So let's start it. We can press the hourly report key. I'll stop it. Four seconds. And we can confirm that we got to four seconds. All right, let's clear this again with the date key. All clear. And that's the stopwatch. I'll press mode to go back out of this. It, okay, that button that was a bit finicky. So it was going to say. It is 10.35 a.m. But it didn't quite get to finish that. All right, that is a look at the stopwatch on this clock. Glad I finally got around to correcting this so that you all have a demo of that. Now, if you would like to see more of this clock, I do highly recommend that you see my video from last February, where I give you a full review and demonstration of this clock and you know, kind of show you the various features, including setting an alarm, the hourly report, and I even allow you to hear what the alarm sounds like when it goes off. So if that interests you, go ahead and check it out. All right, well, that's it for this one. Please, if you're not subscribed, to go ahead and do that. Like the video. You can turn on notifications to get notified about coming videos. Lots of cool stuff planned. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more, and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.